Hey, what's up, my amazing mod squad? All right, it is time to kick off this program with our modification. So it's lift for week one, and our first workout that begins tomorrow is the chest and tricep. Now, we're gonna lift first, and then we're gonna hit afterwards. So the lift part is perfect, it works well, Joel's amazing, and the hit is awesome as well. But you may find yourself needing um, some alternative options for one of the moves. That first move that we're gonna talk about is a catcher. So I'm gonna show you the full out version of the move, then I'm gonna show you an option that's already in the video, but then I'm going to give you two different options that you can use to take it up a level if you're finding taking it all the way down to the ground is a little mm, not so fun for you, all right? So here we go. I'm gonna face shield this way so you can see me. All right, so with a catcher curl, what we're gonna do is hands come down. It's very much like a burpee. You're going to hop back, hop forward, hands come up, and we come into this position. Elbows come to those knees, booty sits back. Now, option one is to take hands down, walk it out, walk it out, walk it in, walk it in, and stand, which is awesome. But what are two other options that take our hands off the ground and brings us up to an incline? Well, we're gonna use an incline surface. So for today, I'm gonna use my fireplace as that option, and I'm gonna show you what you can do. So as you can see, I'm gonna use this surface. Now, first thing that you can do, hop back, hop in, sit down in a squat, drop those hips, out in, hop, out in, hop. So there's option one. If the hop bothers you, here is another option for you. Hands at an incline, and you're gonna step, step, in, in, squat down, hands down, step, step, in, in, squat down, don't want to put any pressure on those wrists? No problem. Keep it here. Step back, step back, and squat down. There's your options. 